Hello everybody, I'm back once again. My name is Ian Chikino and I'm going to cast a game today between Select as our Blue Terran player and Next Genius, who's currently playing in the GSL, which have been having some very good matches as of late. I definitely recommend everybody go check that out over at GOMTV.net. I think that's the website. So, uh, as I'm casting this, I log in today, to, you know, go load this replay, and it's like, oh, Battle.net servers are down. So, uh, I'm thinking the patch is coming today. Uh, they said they'd be, be back up around 11 PDT, so in about two hours. So uh, I think we may have a patch on our hands, so that's going to be very interesting. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen in the patch notes. I know they did post <coughs> some patch notes earlier, like two weeks ago, I think, with the Zealot change, the uh, Reaper build time change, tank nerf and a couple of little deals, so that's going to be very cool to see how that affects everybody's gameplay. So select here a, uh, actually he's I think one of the highest ranked players in in every, in like overall in the whole world as far as 1v1 goes. You can check uh, the overall ranks going by going to a website called sc2ranks.com, it's a great website, definitely better than Battle.net's. Uh, ladders they're divided up uh, in different divisions and whatnot you can check like your overall rank in the entire world compared to other players it's definitely a great resource so check that out but select one of the highest rated players in the entire world against a very good uh, Korean player currently playing in GSL so we have a close spawn positions here on Metalopolis and we have select going for some marines into an orbital and select going for a cybernetics core after a one gateway very similar very similar common builds both players are doing here select has not yet built okay here's what I was waiting to see he just gets his factory there and a very nice uh, protection there with that uh, with those marines he had them out front here protecting that entrance uh, just with two marines not letting that scout get in and he does not see that factor so right now next genius is in the dark he has two gas up right now you may see him go for an early robo just to get that observer out very quickly with these close positions here uh, you're kind of less likely especially in these spawn positions I, I feel like at least personally I'm less likely there's that early robo I was just talking about so he's probably definitely he even has that rallied over here and wants to get to that observer at ASAP so we're gonna see that observer come out and he's going up the gateway so what I was talking about on this map these spawning positions you're probably less likely to see an expansion just because of the positions there it's a lot harder to defend an expansion in this situation so we have here we may see like a five marine hellion push coming out that would be very cool to see right now if you play some aggression with this. Just to kind of test the waters of this Protoss base. Building a bunker. I love that. You know, if you have just 100 extra resources laying around uh, and you want to build a bunker because you feel <coughs> a little bit of pressure. Or just even backup. You know, he's pushing out right now with these Marines and Hellions. And he doesn't need the bunker yet, but he's preparing for a counterattack. So let's say he runs up here and he sees, oh crap, there's like 10 Zealots. You know, <laughs> or like eight stalkers, because he hasn't yet scouted the enemy base yet. He knows the base is here, but he has no clue what units he has. So he's gonna teach to see two centuries and actually get force field it off here. And they actually, yeah, he's definitely gonna lose that. That's a little bit unfortunate. He does lose that zealot there? That was a bit of a mistake. He could have pulled that zealot back and just killed that hellion alone with just the centuries. So that was a little bit of a mistake here. And we have uh, let's see, genius going here for a immortal and two stalkers. Surprised he's going for an immortal. I mean, I guess you know, go ahead and make the immortal because you you only have a robo and two four gates at the time. But he's gonna look over here and he sees he's gonna see there's no there's no marauders coming. Actually, there yeah, there's actually no marauders coming, and it looks like we're gonna see some banshee here. Oh, I love this. This is the this is the marine uh, banshee strat. So we're gonna see another barracks here. Ooh, Let's see if you have any barracks he's gonna add here. So this may be. Uh, a lot, we're probably gonna see here a lot of Marines and a lot of Banshees. Probably a timing push with the Raven here. I've actually seen this on GSL. There was a match where this player went two racks, heavy Marines with a couple Marauders with Stim, uh, quickly getting a Raven, 
And then he builds his raven first with his tech lab and a starport. And then he instantly, uh, as soon as that raven finishes, he builds two banshees. And then by the time the second banshee finishes, he does have 100 energy, and that's a really good timing attack. He push it with marines and marauders with stim, and just crush the player. It was very nice. It was a, and he actually was building an expansion right when he hit. So that was a very nice play. I was really, 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 really liked that game. So here we go. We got the stim coming out. We're probably going to see a tech lab come on here. Yep. So probably going to get a stim on this one, and then the combat shields on this one. So there's the raven coming out. Raven coming out. Perfect right there with that observer. That was a little bit sloppy play there with that observer. He saw the tech lab on the starport. And uh, he should have uh, maybe not assumed there was going to be a Raven out, but the Terran player did see this robotics facility, so he had to assume there was either going to be a Banshee or a Raven. And uh, sitting it right above these Marines is a bad spot. He could have put it over here somewhere. That way he still had vision of what was coming out of the starport. When in fact uh, he had a right here, which was envisioned in the starport, but right on, right on top on, right on top of everything that could have killed his units, uh, his observer at least. So we have an expansion going for, down for next genius. So uh, getting your colossus out, uh, looks like he's adding a couple more warp gates. We'll probably see here in a second. He's not got those thermal lancers yet. <coughs> probably gonna save up for that right now. Gonna spend his next hundred gas on that. And there he gets his two hundred gas, but does he spend it? He spends it on something else. So he's not too interested. So we probably won't see any attacks from Next Genius here for a while. He's just gonna looks like he may just farm up a big army right here. Building another Colossus still does not have those thermal upgrades. He really needs to get another gas based on uh, these uh, amount of Colossus he's gonna get. <coughs> Scan going down for this this Terran player. You can see he does have 100 energy now. So uh, we have a Marine Rotter push right now, and uh, this Banshee here in the back is just waiting. It's gonna, it looks like he's going to go in for a two-prong attack here. I love two-prong attack. He's going to run in, stim in, throw down a point defense drone, and just start picking off units. Inside, and we see in the back here, Banshee coming at the exact same time. Very nice, very nice. Oh, actually losing both of his uh, medevacs right there. But you can see back here, he is not paying attention. He did not see any of these. He's already lost six workers. That was a very nice attack from this Banshee in the back. So we saw actually a little bit of a variation there on, the, on this kind of... Uh, Marine Banshee attack. He didn't get as many Banshees as I thought he would. He just got the one just for harassing and uh, This Banshee definitely paid for itself. Six kills right there. Very nice. So I'm curious to see if that's going to force Genius to go for some maybe cannons just to defend against that or to get in another Observer in his base. I don't see any Forge going down yet, so I guess he's not going to take the bait. Actually got a fight going on right here. Uh, some Marauders doing some nice picking off there. Looks like there's some actually decent force fields. He actually lose this whole army right here. He's gonna finally get that immortal. But he does not want to lose that raven. Those things are so extremely valuable. And definitely uh, that those point defense drones work wonders against stalkers. But oh man, right now Select is in a bad position. If Genius just attacks right now, he can completely slaughter this expansion. He's got nothing. He's really wishing he had that bunker right now. He has no units. Oh, man, this is working out very terrible for him. But we got the Banshee in the back. Oh, we actually had a drop back here with the Banshee. And uh, Select is doing a ton of damage in his base. He's working in some Zealots up here to just try and fight off these uh, Marauders. But that Banshee, dude, he has no AA. Uh, he's pulling back all his Stalkers right now. He uh, manages to... Actually, he didn't do much damage there. This is a very bad play right now for a Genius. This diversion with Select, with just these five units, is doing an extreme amount of damage. Wow. 